Soup, you already know who I am, but I am Yamino, the artist of Sister Claire, and I am joined today by the one, the only, the incredible, the indelible Ash Barnes. Hey, David. Uh, and David, uh, Elena's brother. And Sarah. Yeah. Elena and Ashes and David's friend. And uh, David is currently washing fruit for everybody. That's what the noise is. Um, so I'm about to draw some more tea art, and I'm going to start with Momo, because I've been wanting to taste her tea for a while. Momo! Momo! Let's see, where did I put my tea art? My Oscar tea turned out really cute. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? No, I hadn't. Look at her little saucer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what color is Momo's going to be? It's going to be her favorite red color. Uh -huh. Hot. And even, even the tea itself is red. Because mm. it has hibiscus and stuff in it. Mm. Oh, let me actually get the stuff that's in it. I have it's unlisted right now because I'm trying to only put tea that has a picture on it from now on. So, what's going on here? Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, it's got pomegranate green. Hibiscus and rooibos vanilla chai. Is there um, a specific reasoning be behind like orange versus pink here, or blue versus dark blue in the last one? It, oh. it helps to separate the ingredients so they okay. don't all run together. Okay. Um, should I uh, should I call it Mamo or should I call it Sabine? Mamo. Yeah. Okay. More people will recognize it if yeah, it's Mamo. I think so too. Pretty much every time I do a live write and I say Sabine. Nobody knows who of, you're talking about. Well, no, most someone people, doesn't. But someone's like, who's Sabine? And I'm like, oh boy. Hi. <laughs> Are they sour, Sarah? Um, a little bit. Uh, they're pretty, they're quite they're not, sweet. Yeah. Try one. So it's like, yeah, yeah no. <laughs> no. We Maybe you just much. got a bad one. I was already betrayed by fruit once today. Oh, what bad fruit did you have today, Ash? A peach. No. One that we got? Mm -hmm. They're just not ripe yet. Oh. So they were very hard and sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, sorry, yeah. I, I don't want we mine should, yet. Don't let we mine melt. I have a dessert. Well, I want to see. Let me get some art up of my... It's kind of hard for me to keep an eye on the chat, so could you guys tell yeah, me... Yeah, we're, we're looking at the chat. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for us this evening? Ask away. Ooh, I need to look up... She has a... Oh, I've, already, I've already drawn it somewhere. Her, her tea set. She actually has a canonical oh, yeah. tea set. It's really tall. Peter. Uh, what's the name of the missing moment where Sylvia shows up? 
the woman at the door. La donna la porta. Sarah Dubs asks, what's a hairstyle other than really short that she'd never see Claire having? Well, she does have really short... Well, I guess you mean like, like a buzz a cut. cut. Mm-hmm. She may have had one a long time ago <laughs> when she got her hair cut. I have a hard time seeing her with an undercut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be really cute, but I don't think that that's something she would go for. I think it's much more Aussie. Mm-hmm. I would really like to give Ozzy an undercut at one point. We I think we do. had talked about that, hadn't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't really see Claire with a lot of braids, either. Like, no. I just, mm-hmm. I don't see that. I think I think they'd look pretty on a lot of other characters, and probably pretty on her, too. But I, I can't see her wanting that. I can Is see Mumble's time with them, but I can't see Isn't Claire. Mumble's tea set so cute? Hmm. Yes. I like it. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, Cynical Crow said, pretty random question, but I've been in a big gardening mood lately. What are some of the main characters' favorite flowers? We've said Catherine's favorite flower before. It's forget-me-nots. Um, as to the others, Oscar's is pretty evident. Uh, <laughs> I think she likes roses. <laughs> I think she likes hydrangeas, too. Yeah, she likes hydrangeas. Uh, let's see. Claire... Claire's pretty just fond of flowers in general. I don't know if she would have a favorite. Um, let's see. Hmm. Marguerite's favorite flower is foxglove, also known as digitalis. Let's see. Digitalis sounds so techno. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound at all what it looks like. What about Jackson? Does she have a favorite? Hmm. Maybe something like honeysuckle. Something yeah. that smells really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably something. And something yeah. that you can chew on. Uh-huh. Mm. Well, that's a lot of flowers, but yeah. Honeysuckle would be a big one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Joe says, I could see Claire liking tulips. Those mm. are my favorite. Tulips would be a good one. Uh, I could see her liking things that come after the frost, the frost or during the last frosts, so like snowdrops. Things like that. Those that bloom in really early spring near her birthday. Porcivia. Maybe. It's very young. Mm-hmm. I like it. Porcivia is not really a flower. It's a bush that has yellow blooms on it. So it's a I'm sh- sorry. Shrub. No, I'm it's so okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Get right, Sarah. Damn. God, Sarah. Ah. Someone asks, is Maman her name or a nickname? Maman is her nickname. It means mother in French. Mm -hmm. Her name isn't actually mother. Her name is Sabine. Yeah. But Um, everybody calls her Maman, pretty much. Just about. Ah, Joe says that they can see Rosie liking snapdragons. Yeah, Yeah, snapdragons are great. Yeah. They taste terrible. (laughs) <laughs> have you um, tasted them before mm-hmm. maple lily asks are there any demisexual characters in sister claire my mouth is full ask you answer yes there are um they uh maple lily said i think i saw something that Catherine is gray ace so i'm just wondering if there are any demi characters yes there are you might you could slot Catherine into Demi, if you wanted to, um, I, I think there's a fine line, like, and sometimes that line is blurry or smudged, (laughs) um, but there are other characters, I mean, who else would, I mean, there's Oscar, like, I think she would certainly qualify. Mm -hmm. Who else? Hmm. There are others, and now that you've asked me, I, I'm like, some of them may be spoilery too. That's also true. Hmm. Good question. Mm-hmm. 
Snowy asks if it's hot near us because up there in New York it is so hot. It's so hot here, Snowy. And tell them tell him what the temperature today was. The heat index today varied between, oh, you know, 107 to 111. It was hotter here in the middle of North Carolina than it was in Qatar. Okay, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> like, this is not a desert. This is supposed to be the lush rolling hills of the Piedmont. <laughs> It's a frying pan. It's we're, a frying pan. We're all dying. We're crisping around the edges. We're <laughs> bubbling. Romantic Fox Fox asks, in Celsius? No, honey, in Fahrenheit. No, we would be dead if that There's was no in way. Celsius. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> we, would be, we would be talking to you from the afterlife. I'm mm-hmm. personally We would be in so literal hell if that was <laughs> in Celsius. Joe said, time to bust out the swimsuits. We exactly did. what we did. And the swimming pool was just like... The lightning. swimming pool felt like swimming in pee. It was so warm. <laughs> it was so hot. It was like bathwater. Mm-hmm. Well, not refreshing at all. The most refreshing thing was getting out of the pool where there was a slight breeze. Yeah. Tubbs asked, what's Gabrielle's favorite genre of music? I actually... I, I don't really have a reason for this, but I had always imagined that she liked... 70s and 80s music a lot Mm -hmm. and it well I remember why it's because I had had a different concept for Gabrielle before that she had spent a lot more time with humans during that time Mm -hmm. during a a past era so she had this affinity for kind of retro sort of cheesy older music Mm -hmm. who are you talking about talking about Gabby her music preference now I actually think her music preferences are like underwater genres that humans can't even comprehend. (laughs) (laughs) I I wrote about whaling shells uh, in um, the second to last library. The one where Gabby and the rest were all waiting for someone. Look at my mom. <laughs> it's been a while since I drew her, so like I'm getting her facial proportions all off, but it's a good warm up. You can see. I can see. <laughs> this is why I like digital art so much. I always imagine mobile. There is a hole in this game. <laughs> you can fix it. For people who are wondering, that's a quote from my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> Mamo probably does not sound like that at all, but that's that's how I imagine Well, I always her imagine her having this kind of, oh, sort of soft and high-pitched voice <laughs> like this. Mm-hmm. That's and the voice you always yeah. say your mom and things in, so that's the voice I imagine for it, too. It's also because I think, in my head, her voice is inspired a lot by a teacher of mine at BIS who was not Persian. She was from... I think she was Lebanese. Yeah, I think she was Lebanese, but she spoke that way. She was always like, Mazin, get to the fair! She even, Madame Hassini looks a little bit like Mumbo too, which helps with the association. Snowy asks about how does purifying shards work? I just can't wrap my head around it, and can anyone with energy do it? Not anyone. Um, the way that Clementine purifies shards is by drawing their pain into herself, and she does it at a rate rapid enough that it, it pretty much, it's not so much healing as it is taking away the pain that's not quite the same thing. Um, she is, Sorry. Sorry. No, <laughs> she's, she's not the only one who can do it, um, but I can't say very much without there being spoilers. Huh. 
Tendra Sykes said, that sounds very Jesus-y. <laughs> well, I mean, think about Clementine just a little bit, you know? Uh, she has disciples. She has a thorny crown. <laughs> she, she dies tragically young. <laughs> she dies tragically young trying to save people. Many people loft her up as a savior. Uh, it's not unintentional. No, it's really not. She's, well... Well, I would say she's more like Moses and Jesus wrapped up in one. Yeah. Because she also has that whole, let my people go thing going on. Ish. Eventually. Yeah, it's not not quite as Moses-y, though. Yeah. Like, I will say, though, that the, the religious symbolism is definitely not... Coincidental. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. Trust me, there's thought put into that. Hmm. Don't try to draw too many comparisons, though. You'll just make your heads hurt. Yeah. I made her neck a little too long, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her face also looks a little round. But that's just me. Undine asked, if a water-resistant shard was partly purified like Grimm, would they have a water aversion afterward or not care? They would probably not care. Ardon asked, has Mamul ever taken any other kids other than Oscar and Kat under her wing? Not, not to the point of having them live with her and see her as a mother figure. Um, I'm sure she has sheltered children before for a short period of time and helped them. She definitely feeds them quite often. Uh, if they need a place to stay, she would do her best to try to provide that for them. And later in life, after she stops working, this is something that was covered a little bit in the live rights and will eventually be covered in the missing moments. Coming up sooner than you think. But Maman does eventually open her house as more like a shelter um, <clears throat> than anything else. And yeah, children do frequent it. Oh. Snowy asked, do purified shards care about water? Um, I imagine that most of them don't really like it, but it won't hurt them. It won't burn them, but they still have an aversion to it. Yeah. Does it burn on purified shards? Yeah. yeah. It okay. melts them. Mm -hmm. That's why Grim uh, was scared of the fountain mm -hmm. when possessing Catherine. Yeah. Like, and that's I, why Grim. I think I actually had Grim say that it could kill uh -huh. both Grim and Catherine if they fell in the water. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know if it would kill them, but it would certainly hurt a whole heck of a lot. That's also why Catherine refused to bathe when yeah. everybody else was. Yeah. Hi, Amanda. Welcome. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> Dindra, Hello. Dindra Psych also asked, "Are all purified shards cats?" No. I think all the ones Claire made are. Yeah, but not all the ones Clementine made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Calm down, Ash. Ash is dancing she's, she's over here. She's making her spoil face. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Dubs asks, is that just because she loves cats? Why Claire's are all cats? And Clement, like most of Clementines are cats, mm -hmm. and pretty much all of Claire's are cats. Uh, yeah, it's it's because they're both enamored with cats. Mm -hmm. They think cats are really fucking cute, so <laughs> they're just like. Ugh. I want to see Winkle and Aang get a cameo in Sister Claire. A couple people have said that. Maybe. Maybe so. Sarah Dubs is like, most, most, most. <laughs> That's right. Honto da yo. 
<laughs> Undine said. Maybe one's a catfish. But. I, I almost said something that was really spoilery. I'm Ash, keep it to yourself. I know. I gotta. I gotta rein it in. <laughs> you know, you've been saying that for months. <laughs> <laughs> Just muzzle me. Sheesh. I don't really like how this is coming out. I may want to restart. You can take a break and draw someone else and come back to it. Or maybe I'll I'll like fade this out and try try again. Hmm. Honeymint asked, has Mamul met Rosie and Marie? I don't know. Mm. Don't spoil Ash. Don't say anything. Yeah. If you can't say anything not spoilery, don't say anything at all. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Joe is like, do it, Ash! <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like vibrating with anxiety over here. <sighs> Try another question. <laughs> Maybe I can actually answer that one. I think drawing the side of her nose here might make it look a little more. Well, I mean, she has this, but... Yeah, I mean, like, the... This part. Mm -hmm. I don't think you draw that for, like, Oscar and the twins, but they have really tiny noses. Mm -hmm. you know? Like that? Yeah. Uh, I drew it here a little bit, so... Ardon uh, asked, Does Big Tiger Purified Shard Kitty follow the group now? You'll see... We can, we've, we've said this before, so I guess we don't mind saying it again, that you won't be seeing the big shard for a while. The big shard ran away. Yeah, the big shard. Remember it's what... a shy kitty. Remember what Snowy did right after Claire purified them? Snowy also ran away. It's, it's kind of shocking to suddenly go from one state to the opposite end of the spectrum, and the initial reaction does tend to be... Also consider where the shard was when it was purified mm -hmm. in the middle of a giant body of water mm -hmm. and purified or not shards don't like water yeah. generally yeah joe said yami no i think mumble's jaw needs to be a little bit longer okay let me try that i think you're probably right dendro psych asks does big tiger purified shard kitty have a name i think peaches would be a really great <laughs> my votes are peaches We don't have a specific name. What, Ash? <clears throat> there. That already looks better, I think. Mm -hmm. Mama. Snowy is asking about where the process of purif purifying shards uh, came from. And out of my brain, I guess. <laughs> um, not with anything happening with our own pets, no. Like, the shards aren't really meant to be perceived as pets. Like, I know they're cats and everything, but Claire doesn't think of them as pets. She even, in like, when, when Rosalie and Marie try to give them names... She's Claire like, smacks them down. <laughs> she's like, they already have names. Like, Claire perceives them as people, or at least... Like, friends. Friends. Like, she That's why she's them. also really obsessed with feeding them and mm -hmm. stuff, like, taking care of them. It's not just because... I mean, she does think cats are really cute and everything, mm -hmm. but she's also quite protective of them, and she values them on the same level she would value another person. And I think... They also interact with Claire differently than they do with other people. Claire, like it's been, it's been implied several times, um, in the recent missing moments that shards can talk, and even when she, 
I mean, she, Claire really has still has no idea what's going on with her abilities, but suffice it to say that Claire has been able to sort of understand cats for a really long time, or at least the cats that are shards. Were shards. Tubbs asked, so does Catherine have a cat allergy or a shard allergy? That's a good question. What do you think? That already looks a lot more like my mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta flip a drawing around. Mm -hmm. Don't give her the DreamWorks face. <laughs> I was working on it. How about that? <laughs> How about that DreamWorks face? <laughs> she needs her lines under her eyes. Mm -hmm. I think just a little bit of the DreamWorks face is okay. I'm not I'm not making it extreme. Aww. It gives her a little more character. Yeah, it sure does. That's my baby. That's she my cute. baby. She cute. I love her. Hmm. It's weird to think of Mama as our baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's not very babyish in any way. Yeah, she's <laughs> one of the oldest characters in the game. Yeah, yeah, she really is. I think she is the oldest with one exception. And that exception isn't quite humanoid, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. Everybody knows Yolanda's old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> old as dirt. Old as artichoke <laughs> teeth. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Momo is the oldest character in the cast. Mm -hmm. right. With the exception of Yolanda, yeah. She's even older than Marguerite. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> How does that rock your world, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She looks pretty good compared to Marguerite. Sorry, Margie. <laughs> How old is Marguerite? Marguerite, I believe, is 56, isn't she? It really depends when. I'm, I'm talking about when they leave the Abbey. I'm pretty sure that Marguerite is 56. She looks a lot older than she is. But she's... She's, she's it, had a really rough... <laughs> she's life. been through some shit. <laughs> Sorry, Margie. Hi, Solar Flare. Hello. 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 I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. I know Kung Fu. Dendro Sykes said, Margie looks so much older than she is. Mm -hmm. Well, at least she did starting off. Like, she does look substantially better now. She looks her age now, I yeah. think. I think so, too. I don't know. I still think she looks pretty old now. But I think she's always looked older than she is because of her facial structure. Not only that. Kind of like me. You do not look old. No, I don't mean I look old, but people have always thought that I'm older than I am. Like, now I think people think I'm younger than I am. Mm -hmm. But when I was in, like, middle school and high school, people mistook me for David's mom. Well, I can tell you this, Elena. When I look at pictures of you when you were 18 and pictures of you that were taken yesterday... They look the same. Yeah, they look the same. <laughs> I, I'm like, wow, is my wife actually like, you know... I'm a vampire. <laughs> Leeching the life I knew energy. It. <laughs> I've only seen one picture of you when you were younger. If you look on Facebook, there's a lot. I haven't been creeping. <laughs> Marguerite, like, you don't know much about her early life yet. And it wasn't, it wasn't miserable by any means, but it was hard. Like, it, it did take a toll on her um, emotionally and mentally. And you will eventually find out her story. I'm talking about before she met Magpie. Um, if you've read the live rights, then you know the implication is there that Marguerite was alone for quite a long time. And before meeting Magpie. Before meeting Magpie. And... That ends up being quite important to her later character development. What she went through when she was younger is quite important to her character development. You will find that out when we get to missing moments about Marguerite in particular. I'm excited for that. Me too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Joe said, we can only take so much heartbreak, Ash. <laughs> I, don't, 
I don't think it's going to break your heart. I really don't. Um, <clears throat> I Besides, think, I think you guys are made of sturdy stuff. Yeah. I mean, you've made it so far. Yeah. It's been a rough road. Romantic Fox says, which character looks the oldest compared to their real age? Uh, probably Marguerite. Marguerite, yeah. 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 Hi, Cephalopod Queen. Hello. Hello. Hi, darling. And if we're going on the other end of the spectrum, like characters who look a lot younger than they are, I think Claire. Catherine, too. Yeah. Oscar. But I nobody... But I mean... Come as, as far as characters who always get mistaken for younger Claire, like mm -hmm. people always think that Claire is like fifteen or something. They can never tell, and I'm not blaming them because like she has a really weird Unreal design mm -hmm. where her face is literally a circle. So <laughs> she's kind of a Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> well, I thought Catherine was like mid twenties, thirties for a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's like Catherine... to be honest, I didn't have an, an idea of her age when I first started drawing the comic. I just kind of went with it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ash started like being like, "No, we need to do a timeline and stuff like that." And we started figuring out their ages to make it all match up to the story. And she was like, "Shit, Catherine and Oscar are old. <laughs> they I... look great." <laughs> well, I think it makes sense as to why Oscar looks pretty great, but. Catherine, by all rights, should look a little more haggard. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you know, she's always got the excuse of her ability. Like, her magic power may keep her looking younger than she is. A little bit. And we've only, like, we usually see her, or we saw her, at least at the beginning of the story, in a habit most of the time. Mm -hmm. Which does, um, kind of, I don't know, soften a lot of features. Just because, you know, mm -hmm. dress in black. <laughs> Laura! Hi. Laura said her power went out right as the stream started. No! She was so devastated. <laughs> it's alright, darling. You're back now. Glad to have you. We're still here. Barely even started. Only on the first picture. And I'm ready for my popsicle. Do you want it? No, I I'm gonna have some water first. I think I'll take a break after I finish my mom and have some popsicle. Okay. <clears throat> Has anybody else had one yet? Is it good? Oh, uh, we have uh, not. We are waiting for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Ardon asked, so wait, how old is Kat? I believe Catherine is 46 when she leaves the Abbey with Claire. I think. She might be 45. I'd have to open up the timeline to remember. I'm really bad with numbers. But you, you shouldn't because... No, it's very spoilery, so we <laughs> shall not do that. <laughs> Tubbs is asking about the popsicles. They are frozen Pepsi. <laughs> David made them. <laughs> Frozen flat Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. All right. Snowy asked, I don't drink much tea, so is Oscar's tea good in your opinion? All the teas are good in my opinion. <laughs> I have not tasted the Oscar tea yet, but um, I really like jasmine tea. And I've tasted the rose tea, which makes up part of her blend, and that's pretty good. Um, I would caution anyone who's bought it not to oversteep it. Don't steep it for longer than three minutes, or the bitterness of the black tea will overwhelm everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone posted a link to the timeline, mm -hmm. and Catherine is 45, like I thought, and Oscar's 44. There, I can always, if I can remember one, I can remember the other, because they're only a year apart. Tub says Catherine must be immortal. That's what I think, too. That's what I'd like to think. She's a vampire just like me. <clears throat> I 
I really don't think Oscar would be so afraid of losing her if Catherine was immortal. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. But there's no proof she's not immortal. <laughs> and then I stopped throwing a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. You can hit your head. K. Brand said, dang, Magpie is older than I figured. But that makes sense, given when they were introduced, now that I think about it. Yeah, a lot of people think that Magpie is still really young, and I'm like, actually... Magpie is not literally Peter Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Magpie is older than Catherine, y'all. Um, though, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect you to really... Well, Magpie's not that much older than Catherine. Just a few years. Just, I think, three, three years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't wait to... I can't wait to see Magpie. I haven't designed older Magpie yet. Should probably get on that. Mm -hmm. The concept art for that will probably be another Patreon exclusive. Mm. Oh, Blaze said uh, Magpie's age might be more clear when we see Magpie in the comic. Probably, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Benicula said, I also pegged Clementine is younger than she is. My guess when she met Magpie was three to four. Uh, yeah, Clementine was five to, five to six-ish when she met Magpie. Probably right at turning six-ish. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Blaze said, oh, I thought Magpie was already older in one of the Patreon sketches. Older, like, um, late teens, maybe early 20s, but definitely, like, definitely a, a late teen Magpie, but not, not older like you'll see Magpie in the comic. Snowy asked, can you draw old Magpie tonight? Mm, maybe not tonight. I think Eleanor really wants to focus on the, on the Tinkins. I will be drawing a uh, younger magpie. Uh, next actor, Mummel. Can you um, give Mummel bangles? Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. Patience. Uh, Don't forget she needs fingernails. I was. Sure. I yeah, I just told you to it. <laughs> I'm like, I saw you saying it, Ash. I want to say it first. Okay. It's like we are on the same wavelength. Yeah. Hmm. This hand is a little smaller, isn't it? Mm hmm. A little bit. Is that Zeke? He's all nuggeted up. Oh. Maple Lily said, Magpie makes me weep softly out of pure joy and love. Oh my gosh. I'm so <laughs> glad you like oh, Magpie. I really like Magpie too. I want to say that Magpie is my favorite of the characters that we've introduced just in the missing moments, but it's kind of a hard decision between Magpie and Mumble. I love them both so much for different reasons. They're both very dear to me. Huh. Bonicula said, I think I've mentioned that Momo reminds me of my grandmother, always shining and put together and warm and sweet. She would be uh, so delighted to hear that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. mm. Her hand still looks so old. Is it just me? Sarah shaking her leg. That shirt looks really cute on the baby. Thank you. Keep looking over and admiring it. Well, look forward to a lot of new outfits now that my mom mailed me all my clothes. <laughs> I can finally wear different things. Meanwhile, I will continue to wear the same three shirts. Work it, Ash. Work it. Yeah. 
I've already put a lot more detail in this one than I have on any of the others. I think it's time to move on. Mm -hmm. I think the hand really looks fine. Yeah. I do think it's a little smaller, but I also think that I don't really care because this is angle. just a tea tin. And mm -hmm. You need to do the shading, Jeff. Yeah, I know. I know. Fish. Mm -hmm. Seek. <laughs> Sarah Dubs asks, is it easier for you to draw the characters facing one way and then flip them if they need to face the other direction? Uh, she asks what? As in, do you always draw them facing left and flip them? No. Is that easier? No, it's it's just that sometimes I've drawn a character one way and I need to flip it to to understand what's wrong with it. But mm -hmm. I, I can usually draw characters facing either way. Laura asked, oh, now that it occurred to me, Will we get to see the moment when Mummel and Magpie meet in the lives or the missing moments? That's a good question. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Romantic Fox said, I never know if I should refer to Magpie as he or she. Uh, and Tub said, I just go with they. Any of the above are fine. Magpie is not particularly particular. Um... <clears throat> In some sad wow. wow, you should have done your cute sneeze. That oh, was a sorry. cute sneeze. <laughs> no, you haven't heard like the yes, super cute. Yes, I have. We got it. Like, on, we got it recorded Action. the other night. <laughs> no, okay. yeah, you were like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that one was not. It was like a breath. Oh, it was barely a sneeze. The first time I ever heard Sarah sneeze, it was like, <laughs> and I looked at her. I was like, was that real? <laughs> Ginger Psych asks. Is that a tattoo or a bracelet on her wrist? It's a bracelet. Mama does not have tattoos. Would she have At tattoos someday? At least not anywhere that you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> I love the little... <laughs> <That's> perfect. <laughs> I don't know if I like how I've shaded here. It's a little much, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can't really see her necklace anymore. Yeah, I like I mean, it just on the top lip. I think that looks more... Yeah, me too. Yeah, and okay. it, it makes her neck look like she's got... A spiked collar on. I don't think so. I, I think, think that's okay. fine, especially if I necklace. do a little more here and stuff. I think it's fine. In reference to Magpie, Benicula said, I go with they unless referring to a moment in which Magpie's pronouns of the day are established. That's a pretty good rule of thumb, I think. Mm -hmm. Magpie would not care unless someone was being mean about it. Mm -hmm, good. just shook the water like that would <laughs> I saw that <laughs> I realized what I was doing I'm like what pop whoa whoa Northern Lamps asks about pointers for starting a webcomic. Just do it. Just do it. I don't know. I, I would need more specific questions to give more specific advice. There's a lot of things that go into making a webcomic. Jersey groaning in the background. He's snoring. Oh. There. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. More eyeliner.
Romantic Fox asks, what do you use to make your website? Hiveworks. <laughs> Hiveworks set up our website. I used to use, a long time ago, I used to use WordPress uh, together with Comic Press, but I'm pretty sure they're still available now, but I can't really give specific advice on how to use it because it's been a very long time. Um, there are lots of options for free website hosting as well, but again, I've never used that, so I'm not really the best person to ask about it. I think that looks good. You're skin. getting really into details here. Yeah, I think I'm getting a little bit too fussy mm -hmm. about stuff. Stuff. What is this? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. All right, time to get back to the other. That's a really cute picture of Claire Sarah Dobbs. Oh, oh that is really <laughs> look at that hair. <laughs> the braids. <laughs> I like her expression. Yeah. <laughs> like what? I'm oh. done. I'm probably going to brighten up that background red. Mm -hmm. It didn't it's quite little... come out how I wanted it. Mm -hmm. I can hear Zeke snoring. <laughs> yeah. How's that? I'm not a hundred percent happy with her hair. I think I'm going to add. I think it looks pretty good. One more layer. Damn it. <laughs> Photoshop. Come on now. Honeymint says, This is really random, but I love how diverse the characters in Sister Claire are, and I love how well written they are. Oh. Ash is blushing. Is this better? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Thank you, Honey Mint. We are really glad you like it. Mm -hmm. That's probably one of the best compliments we can get. Yeah. Honey Mint also sounds like just about my favorite flavor, <laughs> if anything. After Mumble, I'm gonna stop the recording and take a popsicle break. I'll probably have to head to bed after that. Yeah. I'm gonna have a popsicle. You have to have a popsicle. I don't even like soda. It's not bubbly though, it's a popsicle. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Laura says, Elena, I really liked the little detail of Rosie's suspicious expression in the latest comic page. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Rosie's being kind of a shithead right now. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Is that you, dude? 
your dad? Oh, I wonder if it's our dad. Yeah. Has he arrived? Uh, my flight to, Ar to Raleigh, Durham is now leaving Charlotte at 12 midnight, arriving around 1. Oh. Poor daddy. Poor daddy. No, oh, <laughs> poor Mr. Bobber. <laughs> I'm going to darken her line art because it's sad. By the way, everyone, thank you for coming and keeping us company tonight. We know this live draw is a little later than usual, but we do really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We try to do them even if they are a little bit late because, I mean, we want to see you, and sometimes our schedules don't allow us to come see you earlier in the evening. think is it better when I darken it and make it orange like that I like that better actually okay I do cool mm. I'm done with my mom yay she is did beautiful. you do the steam oh you're right I forgot the steam I forgot oh this. and you forgot her it it won't look good in this style oh, okay it really she only tried it'll it. be too much okay never mind I thought about that Looking good. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love my mom. And on that note, I'm going to end this recording. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please check out our other videos and consider subscribing for more content like this. See you next time.